Who was Paul Amadeus Dinach? According to George Papahadzis, the translator of the original manuscripts who knew him personally, Paul Amadeus Dinach was a Swiss-Austrian teacher with fragile health. His father was a German-speaking Swiss and his mother was an Austrian from Salzburg. He was born in a suburb of Zurich and lived his adolescence in a village nearby the large Swiss capital. He later followed humanitarian studies with a strong inclination to the history of cultures and classical philology. Dinach is thought to have suffered from encephalitis lethargica, a strange neurological disease that develops an immune system response to overloaded neurons. The first time Dinach fell into a lethargic sleep was in 1917 and lasted for 15 days. The second time was in 1921 and lasted for a whole year. After having recovered from the one-year coma, Dinach traveled to Greece in the autumn of 1922, hoping that the mild climate would improve his condition. He didn't talk to anyone about his remarkable experience because he thought he would be considered crazy. However, what he did do was write down the entirety of his memory relating to what he had seen of the future, or at least everything he could remember. During his time in Greece, Dinach taught French and German language lessons in order to provide himself with a minimum income. Amongst his students was George Papahadzis, a student that Dinach appreciated more than any of the others. Papahadzis describes his teacher as a very cautious and very modest man with tremendous memory that used to emphasize the details. It is believed that Dinach eventually died from tuberculosis in Athens, Greece, or on his way back to his homeland through Italy, probably during the first quarter of 1924. Before Paul Dinach died, he entrusted Papahadzis with part of his life and soul, his diary. Without telling Papahadzis what the notes were, he left him with the simple instructions that he should use the documents to improve his German by translating them from German to Greek. Papahadzis did as his teacher asked. Initially, he believed Dinach had written a novel, but as he progressed with the translation, he soon realized the notes were actually his diary from the future. Dinach describes everything he experienced of the environment and people of the year 3906 AD. According to the mindset and limited knowledge of a 20th century man, this was not an easy task for Dinach. There were many things he claims not to have understood about what he saw, nor was he familiar with all their terms, technology, or the evolutionary path that they had followed. Is it possible that Dinach's accounts were all just a dream? We are dealing with a strange metaphysical event which can easily have other explanations. As a matter of fact, no one can verify what had actually happened to this man who, apparently, went through a lot more than a human mind can handle. However, take under consideration the following scientific facts. In 1918, after the flu outbreak in Europe, a nightmare of biblical proportions struck in the 1920s. A mysterious illness called the sleeping sickness that left the victims in a state of paralysis and coma-like state followed in the wake of the flu. It attacked the brain, leaving the victim like the living dead. Its technical name, encephalitis lethargica. The main symptoms were insomnia or hyperinsomnia together with other, namely oculomotor and extrapyramidal symptoms. And these are facts. Now, whether this is a work of insight, a hallucination, a fairy tale, or a time travel account, and a real chronicle from the future, is not our primary concern. And that is for each and every one of you to decide. One piece of advice, though, 
The true essence of the diary lies in the content. <laughs>